well, but they won the mixed damage. Mill very good with setup onto the Mininar. Yeah, I think I'm super interested in this BDS composition. We've been talking a lot about their evolution. Adam's holding this wave here for quite an extended period of time because of that Mervin. He's sitting on a ward recalling, trying to soak XP. He doesn't realize he's on a ward, so he's going to get ganked here. Oh. A little bit of, they're just waiting. They're taking their time, ready to try to oh, no. get away. The hook shot is there, but oh, oh well, time to the minefield. The knockback, Mega coming through just to make sure there's no counter kill. A clean first blood on the top side for BDS. Yeah, like I said, sitting on the ward, not realizing he's okay, on early it. Early on, you really set BDS up for success. One of the big things that stood out to me when they fought in, uh, in week four was that MDK were actually pretty good in the team fights against yeah. BDS. They were willing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them in the 5v5s. So the way that BDS got the better of them was just Ooh. catching them on sides. Oh, it's going to be a little bad. bit of walk down now. Oh, side oh, step. Oh, no! Oh, it's terrible! <laughs> but he's about to turn mega. He has to flash forward. Oh, oh he hops too far! Run, Mirwin! Run on your little blade legs! Oh, the ball misses too! Oh, nobody can hit anything! <laughs> everybody, everybody look away! It didn't happen! Oh, no, mid go lane. mid, it's dead! Oh, the what? 1v1! The interrupt. He doesn't have level 6 yet. It's the best worst 1v1 I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> the solo laners are so volatile. The play from mid laners here oh, is no. pretty simple all in, but it's never a 1v1, poor Friskawi. There's always someone in this mid lane, Ooh. and that rocket was very big. Ice Hang on. Now coming in for another kill, and this is total disaster for MDK in the early game. Shao turns his attention to topside. Narbot is there, and Narbar, he, the ult wall, comes in, the setup's through. there as well. Pack cycle the main available for Mirwan. Where is he going to use it? Taking his time to make sure he walks out of the minefield. Goes back in, trying to isolate Cheo. Alvaro coming in now as well. Unbreakable, the body block today. The flick back is good. Adam, two, three, four on the cuts of blow stack. So you here too. That is one dead Nar. MDK finally finding an angle. And finally a 1v1 in the mid lane. A true 1v1, but it might be too late. The knockback coming in. Jump out from Frescawi. Behind in goal, but still holds on to his life. There's no cross map available down bot side. Does Tristana win when a Twitch and a Talia <laughs> repeatedly? <laughs> okay, if, uh, in fairness. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fair play to Frescali. I, I, I want to do Frescali dirty here. This man has been getting bullied. His new nice sidestep on the initial piece of CC. Sadly, a little bit too much for him to dodge there. Flash over the wall, but he might still drop. Q flash from Alvaro. Looking good to finish that one off. I mean, Nuke thought that he was safe in his backspace, but. Uh... MDK, they catch him out, and he has no way to break free. Now the chase comes in from Alvaro. Won't connect the four stacks of the Brawn passive. Ice. Now in trouble. Super tries to go all in here, but just ulti traded for alt. Move speed coming in. Sponge not going to do too much. I think MDK thought they had the angle because they had so many members well, on the bottoms. You know, you're a little bit more worried about a rundown. Well, what do you think about this dive? Yeah, I quite like the idea I think it's from possible. MDK. He's trying to bat stack Rage as quickly as he can. Alvaro now coming in. Isn't going to land the concussive of blows. Vets big. Buys him an extra second. Flashing away to try to get mega timing. But the damage is just too high. MDK again punishing topside. I think Adam does a smart thing in trying to lure the wave. He's approaching from topside now. Set up here. Fight for the four grub buff. BDS just need to grab two and they can get out. And they're very close to doing it. Lower the health bars. Healing now coming in. Shao quick smite. Now they can leave. They don't really need to stick around. They don't need to get anything done. Alvaro going to connect the ulti onto Nuke. But hesitance. From the side of MDK, they needed to go a little bit sooner if they wanted to get this done. Alvaro tanking damage for Ooh, absolutely nobody, and now it's Ice on the side. Knockup going to come in big. Twitch ulti already there. Adam trying to find the angle, but the wall actually hurt the play a little bit as Mirwin's now ready to turn it. That one is not feeling good. Luckily, the minefield going to stop any follow-up. Hell yeah. Now we hovering near mid. Now it looks like they've caught out Ice. LeBrov not in a good position to follow up or respond. Right. Excellent combo from Alvaro. Frescawi there to get the damage down. Clean pick and tower take from MDK. Yeah, nothing really else to add. Clean pick is, is a great summary as MDK oh, found a It's not that crazy, but the fact that it's happened <laughs> twice in one day. <laughs> Look, all I'll say is there's a reason, and this isn't really the main reason, but it might be one of the reasons this champ is essentially 100% priority in yeah. every single week. And I will say, just building on that, I don't think the Corky Trist handshake's a handshake at all. I think Tristana's just the best champ in the game, maybe bar Rumble as Nuke. Be fine, dodges the Grasping Roots. Important. Bit of extra damage coming down, but manages to avoid the plant aggro. DK now retreating. LeBrov and Cheo stepping up. Cheo, of course, no ultimate means it's going to be hard to collapse from range, but Mirwin relatively low. Shot though makes it easy for him to get up safety and yet another vision trap set up from MDK. It's like we're in winter. They're making it work. Maryland quick pick 
coming through. TP on the way in and Frescaui. Ooh, looking to remind people why this champ is so damn good. Cheo going golden just in time to watch himself go down. MDK come alive in game one. A really excellent play from the corner of the... I gotta say, MDK, this is part of the reason why everyone was so caught off guard coming out of winter, moving into spring, moving into summer when MDK struggled so much because a lot of these individual players, Alvaro especially in this game, were so good Zyra in winter. and double AD carry. That Nash dies in 10 seconds. Um, and I was really concerned by the fact that Adam was down bot side pushing as... Nope, it's always a vision trap, is. baby! LeBron, they keep teaching him this lesson. And I mean, this this top lane goal difference really doesn't yep. matter. Camille is still having great impact. Outdated. <laughs> no one cares anymore. Oh, it's just grubs forever now. You're the old toy. <laughs> Buzz is my new favorite. <laughs> oh my <God>. <laughs> <laughs> of all the things that we were going to get out, I did not expect a toy store. <laughs> well, they're stopping us. That's what I imagined. I don't know, just Andy dropping the dragon. Yeah. Well, Here we MDK, go, Baron. Very focused on Buzz Lightyear. 6k getting lower, Baron falling. TP. Trying to bring them into the pit, but there's no jungler in the area. This should just be MDK's Baron. Can they get out of the pit? Elioia caught up against the wall, does not have the flash. He might just try to fight it anyway. LeBron, good knock of Elioia, taking his time, a little bit of extra damage. Rescali, excellent buffer on the Gnar ultimate. Oh, but still, BDK, BDS, excuse me. Losing a couple wait, in the wait, process. Wait, 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 did I? I need I to think... check that. Did Super go in or did he get... I... Looks like they're going to push off the Baron Siege anyway. I mean, okay. BDS is very comfortable in this position. They're quite happy to sit back, keep farming, keep scaling up. I gotta say, though, MDK, this is the one Whoa. play they have, and this time BDS read it four times in a row. The vision trap is laid, but this time it's BDS who are ready for it. Adam ready to go mega. Alvaro, nice flash back. Super untouched for now. Frescali off to the side. Double 80 carries are still alive, and that means disaster for BDS. It started so good. As long as Ice is standing, there's a little bit of hope. Adam running for his life, but the Unbreakable mitigating so much damage. Ice will make it out, but it's still MDK taking the fight. Adam, inevitably going to fall here? Maybe not. The move speed from turning into mini now, I mean, it's just going to buy a little bit of time. Wall up timed well. No, yeah, it's a matter of time. <laughs> but that engage, Adam was so close to Mega Nar. They pulled the trigger with Shea on the ultimate and he can't Luke follow. isn't there. Yeah. Meanwhile, on the minimap, you can see he's being cut off. He's being taken out by Mewen. And then Friskawi joins the fight from a great angle, meaning the MDK, they were su successfully able to weather that engage and then find a good re-engage. Mewen now trying to escape, though. Look shot wall dive. Two more seconds left on the cooldown, but he doesn't have a good extended wall to get away from. Nuke should just be able to finish off the kill. Nice sidestep on the rocket, the big one. Good damage. Ooh, Ooh. he gets it! Good look at the pressure in mid. They're able to get that wave in. They push onto the tower. They should be able to secure this one as well. I mean, Mervin on this, Camille, they're sieging through mid, buying time to be able to do that. I'm so shocked by moving on this Camille because I had him backed as a, as a top laner who couldn't really play the meta stuff, right? He wasn't he so good the counter on picks, no, right? We talk about the bars. He gets the, the resources. We, we don't see him on the normal stuff. And here he is, Camille, <laughs> right? A champion that can take over a game and he is taking over this game. Six, one and two, he's absorbing so much pressure. The only person with a gold lead on the side of BDS right now is Shale. And I don't think it really matters. MDK grabbing another Drake. The good news for the side of BDS, as you highlighted earlier, no Drakes have been taken this game. There's no real threat of soul. Baron, 44 seconds. BDS can be the team to have They do the seven. exact same thing. They have numbers advantage. You force the objective. You force BDS to come into you. And now they're going to be forced to respond. It actually looks like they're going to con concede it. They're not even going to bother. They're going to try and get other objectives on the map. But this time, MDK will get away with all five members with the Baron. It'll cost them two towers, but I think they'll go worth. Labrov is having to face check to try and check if Baron is up. I wonder why they're not layering their blue trinkets to maybe check because that Baron goes down. Maybe have an insurance policy. Pulse Alvaro stepping up, taking a decent chunk of damage. All shock are not going to connect on Shao, and the siege just continues. Much more of the Baron they wanted the first time around. Good knockback on the Fresh Gowie. Oh, Excellent hook to follow. But can BDS take the fight? They took so much damage up front from the Zyra. Labrov once again running as quickly as he can. Mir went off to the side. Again, MDK under no pressure. They give up one, they lose Frescali, but they still grab the tower and they can He's walk away. The Jinx in but what if MDK just put four people in this bush again? <laughs> <I mean. laughs> like, it's a really good trick, I can't lie. It's just so funny that BDS are so far behind, right? They, they don't really have pressure in very many places on the map, so they have to keep face checking. This time around, it's Alvaro face checks, but oh, no. he's the problem. Here's Supa, instantly gonna knock one down. BDS is trying to retreat, ice invisible. They can open up, knock back into the wall is good. As long as Unbreakable is there from the wall, Brom, they can't really do much. El Yoyo throwing damage down over the wall, hook shot, wall dive. Mirwin keen to follow it up, but has he overstayed his welcome? Now leaping onto the switch, he just one shots him, but Ice oh, stays much. standing. Ice, the Ultra Shark laser finishes it. Frescali wants to end the game right here. Triple kill coming in from Ice, but it might not be enough. Adam getting taken down, flash forward from Frescali, but he knocks him back into.
into the fountain. MDK in a tricky position. Now the tower, the TP coming in, but they can delete it before the TP finishes. And now it's Nuke all on his lonesome in a 2v1. He tries to get one back, but Triumph just comes in too damn clutch. What just that happened? Was, that, <laughs> that was one of the craziest team fights we've seen in a while. It ends up being a four for three. Yeah. Ice did get his pop off moment. He was able to turn the fight around as MDK heavily. The BDS have, well. Ooh, Blue Shrink, they know the objective hasn't been started. Yeah, they don't want to yep. face check that. They're paranoid. LeBrov, don't face check this again. He has flash. Pick it out. Hook back in onto the Braum, not ideal. Mirwin coming around from the corner, but Ice uncontested on the AD carry. He's going to try to delete Frescal with a knock up there. Ice now following, looking for the expunge. One more auto to do it. Ice still standing. He has to be the one to make a difference. The Supa's already taken over. It's already a triple. They'll do him a quadra, maybe even the Penta. Ice wants to fire back. Super. But here we go, Supa! Penta in game one of playoffs. It's what a start. denied by El Yoya. <laughs> <laughs> it was a quadra, and MDK should be able to win off the back of this as an ace comes through. And MDK set their sights on game one of this best of three. That was rude from El Yoya. <laughs> he embarrassed both me and his AD carry. <laughs> and also BDS in game one. MDK come out swinging, constant vision traps, aggressive play, confidence on stage. This team has been reborn in the LEC playoffs. It took three Nashes spawning. It when works you look as at, engage, it works as disengage. It's more yep. so that when I think the, the primary engage on BDS is LeBrov and his only way oh, to start a pretty quiet, pretty calm game one. I think the pace of the previous game has thrown me off because three minutes feels oh. like five minutes is now for Scowie's getting aggressive. Shea coming Frisco in behind. Dead. Look, I guess you should have reset the well. rocket jump. But Lebrov is there. There's really no one jump that's going to save him. Root coming through as well. Yep. I don't think Frisco got the last auto to proc Ooh, the bomb crucial. and then didn't get the rocket jump reset. So nuke space panel is on a ward. Neo in doing something. This is this second game in a row. Someone's just backing on a ward. We saw this exact same thing on the, from, from the opposite flash. team. All right, taking their time. They've used both of their dash stop tools at the everything. same time. <laughs> oh no, you got you got to coordinate the CC and the raid, guys. I mean, he's hiding behind the wave to avoid the Talia Qs, but it's just a matter Goes of time. Through. Heals, good damage, nice dash back. Oh, finally one tiny rock on the minefield will catch him and finish the job. A bit of a sloppy gank, but a successful one nonetheless. Yeah, that wave state's going to be quite nasty as well. He's going to have to TP back and try and break it. Zyra is there if he wants to, and that could be a regain from Elioia, but he chooses to recall as well. Regardless, though, TP down. Who wins is as well, and it's just going to be relatively neutral. Unfortunate sequence of events for Adam, ultimately. Yeah. Um, he will be able to push this wave back out. He obviously has to be cautious of a regank, but that's exactly why Sheo is here, to potentially cover for that regank, provide information for his top laner, and maybe even consider a dive. The only problem is it's for Scowie that has the control in mid. Look at El Yoya as well. He's making a beeline towards top lane. The comms are clearly, Ooh. I might get dived here. The window of opportunity very quickly closing. El Yoya just around the corner. If they want to go, they need to go now. Adam already taking a tower shot. He has level six. He has Dominus ahead of Schedule the poppy getting cut down, but no! Oh, Sheo providing a dash out for him. I was I was really skeptical that this dive would work because Poppy gets so damn tanky when she gets the low HP that you have to burst oh, her instantly. Oh, now Sheo's in trouble. Prescali here, happy to pick oh, up. Oh no! A this second help. Early game is falling apart. MDG can convert this into oh, the Elver gets massively chunked. This could just be a uh, dragon now for BDS. The big advantages were that. BDS have lost a lot of summoners. Oh, nice flick. LeBrov now in trouble. Super might not have all, but he might not need it. Elioya grabbing yet another kill. Sheo needs to backstep. Prescali here waiting over the wall. This is the unbreakable phase. They might be able to get aggressive, but Super already coming in as well. Alti there from the Zyra does absolutely nothing. Double kill for Elioya. I mean, more picks being gained for MDK. They're just punishing uh, BDS. Yeah, pretty solid. Uh, <laughs> and MDK are making it work for Scowie. Is Getting he in lower. danger or Nuke is he going to Tristana out of this? He is indeed going to Tristana out, but Nuke oh, says, no, he's oh, not! Nice. Hey, baby! Snipes him out of midair. Nice play there from Nuke. Hate Someone needs... Similar. But now, BDS, hoping to set up for a play on the bottom side, but Elia waiting in the darkness. Ice push back on the wall. LeBron immediately trying Ooh, to get LeBron. a counter engage. Excellent ulti coming in for Sheo. That might be the turn back. The Unbreakable have to fall away from Alvaro, and now he's a dead man walking. Double kill for the Zyra. BDS, nice punish. Yeah, Elioya making a play on side lane. Four and zero, so many items. But the counter range comes in from Labrov. Finding themselves with a lead. 2k advantage, getting bigger. Ice 
Not going to be threatened much here. Lebrov shadowing, but should just be able to walk up with one or two autos, courtesy of the Chakram. Poppy base damage is good, but not that good. Nuke, though, now in trouble as once again MDK are fishing for picks. Alvaro there to body block the damage and a shutdown into Supa's back pocket. Alvaro making picks again on this Braum, finding them onto Nuke in the mid lane. I feel like I've seen this over and over again with that ultimate if he chooses to. MDS moving down 3k. X flash going over the wall. MDK pulling back. They cannot finish oh, before resets. resets. Lebrov now engaging Adam right there. He should just be able to double dash in. Flash in oh, immediately, calling the Meek. Looking to devastate the MDK backline, but the double AD carries are still up. Super Fresh Gowie not too strong yet. Just going to be forced off of the objective. Just wants to be topside, I be suppose. That. Frescali should be able to knock down this tower, but might have to give his life to do so. One extra auto is going to dash back and use the ultimate to walk away, but has flash as well, so he'll be just fine. Dent has a TP advantage over Poppy, and I feel like BDS should feel confident to just start the objective and leverage the fact that Adam can get there ahead of Mirror. Yeah, Adam's trying to run him down now with the Conqueror and the red buff. He does have Black Cleaver too, so it's possible. Autos. It's going to take a lot of time, but the Dominus indicates he's trying to make it happen. Gets a bit extra rage. TP now coming in. Adam going to dash through and just dash out again. Gets that summoner spell essentially for free as long as he can escape. But Elio is here to make sure it's not that simple. With the minefield and Mirwen, there should just be no way. Flick back connects. Nice side lane punish, but it's going to cost so much from the side of MDK. Because in the meantime, BDS are making the play happen in the mid lane. The Herald already charging. Supa's going to ulti. It's going to take Alvaro out of the equation. The charge now coming in, and BDS continuing the pressure. Super trying to clear the wave desperately. The mid lane tower still standing for an extra moment. BDS desperate to knock it down. Meanwhile, on the top lane, Frescawi keeps up the pressure. It's a good response for BDS because they secure the mid tower, they secure the bot tower, and they unlock the dragon as well. Exchanging that for just your top lane, and when you even got a kill onto Alvaro, BDS is more than happy with how things played oh, out. All he actually is to be able to hit onto his opposition. When you contrast that to Tristana, uh, Zeri and Atalia, they just have so much range, Mirwin. Mirwin, that extra CC, a lot of damage. Ulti now going to follow. Mirwin forced to flash. Does have Warmogs, so those are some tools used for a flash onto Mirwin. No ultimate now for Shea the on this The gold team advantage at the bottom of your screen you can see is in favor of BDS across the board, but it doesn't feel no. that no. way in the game. Like, it's not really amounting into that much more control. We did talk about how this Renekton on a side lane is creating more pressure, but now that the TP's gone from Adam, he's not able to generate that pressure. So it's just a constant back and forth, as, as Aragorn was saying, a lot of the vision investment towards the top side of the map. Dragon being soloed out, that's going to be picked up by Nuke. DK can now step up to threaten the Baron, but they don't But this is what they did last game. So. You control the space, look for picks. Tier two, though, we're going to be the cost, but Frescawi doesn't have the wave to finish it off, and Adam ready to cover if he needs to, waiting to see multiple members of MDK before he steps up. I think BDS, all, their only option is to force a fight as five and plays as five, because they can't play side versus the global threat of uh, Talia. Poppy will just hold Renekton in the side lane, and then Renekton also loses to Tristana. So they really are out of options. They just have to try. The fight. I really like that team fighting comp, but MDK just won't give it to them. They literally was like, no, oh, no. We, won't, we won't give you the 5v5. And the problem is their damage just sticks so much better, right? Adam getting poked out. Yes, he can start to sustain. Wait, what if Lebrov gets caught? Oh, oh no. Good. Excellent knockup. Instantly combo denying anything else. Mirwan could try to stop the escape tools. Two, three, looking for four on the stacks. Frescali going in to try to finish the kill. Should just be able to get it from over the wall. Now getting out to safety. That's the pick MDK we're looking for. Alvaro forced to flash. BDS still with four members up, but they lose. Follow-up is there as well. Oh, yeah, and Alvaro in the area. The amount of chain CC from the Braum combined with the Poppy. It's tough for any team to deal with as MDK get mid prio knock down the Tier 1. Once again, just return to threatening the Baron. Unfortunately for them, the Scuttle Crab is there. But Alvaro still hovering in the darkness. Blue Trinket spots him out this time around. Ice, excellent guns for the fight. The knockup is there from Ooh, no Alvaro. W. Now trying to retreat, but Frescawi off on the side. Mirwin buying as much space as he possibly can. Mormok's going to need a lot of time. Eight seconds. Timer ticking down before Mirwin starts healing up again. The base and TP if you want. It's like, just look at the HP of the carries on MDK. It's all full. They're not worried. Adam being chipped away. LeBron being chipped plus away. They don't have the same They're the ones benefiting because they're the ones that get the push in mid. They'll secure the tower. The longer the BDS can keep MDK here, the better. Pressure's on now. MDK forced to start the objective because Ice can threaten Look on the, the next wave. 
Adam, what can they do? LeBron on the flank, he will be spotted by MDK. What is the call? They need so much discipline for MDK. BDS descending, pressure on them to get into the pit, but instantly press Cali off to the side to try and deny the engage. They only managed to find one. Mir one still standing tall. Alvaro blocking as much as he can, but Ice is untouched. His ulti goes completely wide, and now the follow-up is just not there. Super ready once again to take over. Two kills already coming through. Maybe this time around he'll be able to grab the pent but BDS retreating well, staying grouped. Not going to give that opportunity for any more kills to go across. They turn they on... MDK. A nice idea from BDS yeah. is snuffed out by the execution of MDK. I was not expecting... Well, I was expecting a 2-0. I was not expecting <laughs> it to come from this. Be able to find the angle for the wall bang, and now pressure being set up mid lane as well as bottom lane. Mirwin doing the thing the poppies love to do, which is you just charge the ulti. If you don't use it, it's like 15 second cooldown. So you just keep charging it. Just keep threatening the potential for the disengage, getting extra space for Prescott to knock down the tier two. But now Elio laying down the wall. And once again, more and more standing gold going into the pockets of MDK. I don't think there's much of a play here. Maybe a TP angle you can see. Uh, Corky hovered for a bit extra time. Nuke just gonna finish off that item. So tier two drops. He's just gonna inflame forever now. So I don't know if they're gonna be as eager that, as last that's time. Fair. That's fair. <laughs> but I mean, the main point is they're playing incredibly well. I like how they're executing their drafts. Let's see if they can close this out. The TP. Ooh, and TPing. Okay, creative angle here. Oh, it is so a good far angle. Unspotted, but there's no walls from the Watch knock the wall. Anyone Watch into. the wall. Ice for now untouched. He's got good things for the AoE all, but this is the same damage is not oh, real. Excellent. Oh, excellent. But Chiano trying to turn it back. Shio going golden soup on the back line, completely untouched. And once again, the Zeri ready to take over. Adam tries to save the day with the knockback from the Trist is there now. Bro. Oh, oh, red focus. buff. Is it the solo bolo? One, two. Unbreakable. It's two XKO, baby. He's kicking the <laughs> shit out of him. Let's go. <laughs> Alvaro. <laughs> That's four dead on the side of BDS. Mirwin with a phenomenal flank. He's able to lock up ice. The follow-up damage is flawless. And MDK making the upset happen. A 2-0 over BDS. The dragons with lava, but we managed to find the team fight for the side of MDK from behind as well. They've shown they can carry out leads from ahead. And now from behind here, uh, pushing into it. I think they tried. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite connect, but still, Mewin's flank here, double knock up, it's huge. It's such a great play. LeBrov tries to get the ink. Good damage onto our Yoya, though. He's not going to be able to heal that back up now. BDS forced the Baron. Ice is the only carry with flash available in this entire game. It's oh, back onto two oh. carries. It's Sheo in the pit. Alting to try to give himself a bit more space. A wall to stop the BDS carries from getting involved, but still out of strong for a little bit more time. Ice off to the side. Excellent damage to finish one carry. Now trying to follow up. Severum Q coming through the onslaught. Mirwin is not oh, it's huge. anymore. The 80 carries. Nuke and Ice back to back, bringing the game back for, G for BDS. Ice, that entire fight, had blue gun ready and they were all huddled. He got ulted away by Mirwin on this poppy, but then he ults over the wall. He finds it onto Super and absolutely blows them up. A single play might have just swung this game in favor of BDS. Keep your eyes on Ice as he gets knocked back with this poppy ult. At this point, I thought, oh, this is a one team fight once again for MBK. A nice wall from Aljoya to separate them from the fight as well. The target focus, I think, gets a bit mixed here as Lebrov still gets the ultimate down. But then look at that ulti from Ice doing so much damage. We go back to live and look at the end the game. Edge. It's over. BDS looking to bring it back. Alvaro can block all of the autos if they don't split up. Blocks one, but Nuke steps off to the side. He's happy to bring us to a game. Three BDS. <laughs> and this no one starts fighting. Except for Alvaro. Yeah, not going to go the Poppy Talia combo this time into the Renekton, rather going to go the Cassante, which is a better overall tank in my opinion. And I think it's important to know Such a frustrating position to be in. LeBron, it looks like burning some of his health to try to stop the wave from crashing. Sheo rotating over. Elioia here first. Flick back does manage to hit. Sheo no boots. Means he's in trouble now. Instant leap in coming from Frescaui. Nice double root from Sheo to keep that one going. A little bit more damage Ooh. from Frescaui and it's first blood. Elioia flashing to secure with a threaded volley. He has double buffs now. Nuke just wants to finish the kill. Flick back does manage to hit Elioia. Not going to get greedy. Doesn't want to extend any further TPs coming into mid lane, but Alvaro is here too, and Lebrov incredibly low. Ultimately, a one for one, but I understand why Friscawi committed to that play. Oh, hang on a minute. Super, Super. coming oh, in. Super. Hook onto tower. Alvaro trying to body block. Super wants to get the kill back. Oh, it's a comedy of errors, Nuke. Managing to make it out does not bring the bomb back into the Blitzcrank. A clutch hook connects from the Brav. These are the type of plays you need to see as Adam flashes in. Stun. Mirwin waiting on Q3. Q3 will work. The flip back does connect. Oh, brings it back into Mirwin. Oh, it's so awkward, but they get the kill. What is going on? Al Yohia gets another t kill for MDK. Sheo makes his way top lane, but he's not going to get anything off the back of it. Priority. 
if you can't get something else back, you should try to trade. Yeah. I, I will say a small caveat Race to how good the alone yep. will do so much work on that bot lane tower. So look at the positioning of Super. He's the one to go and catch top wave. So MBK are doing. Oh, Alvaro. Finally going to see BDS, but I don't know if there's much of a way to get out here. Hook pulled back, instantly deleted. Nice patience from the side of BDS. Well, they were very close. Okay, very close to coming off cooldown, yeah. Oh, I see. At this point, already lost a decent amount, but it's Shea who now might be in trouble, needs to find a good angle to ultimate. Immediately getting down a bit of burst damage. Ulti going through, but he's just deleted. MDK continuing to follow up. Ulti used by Supa. Mirror 1 TPing the in, ultimate. but Q3 not going to come through. Two more grubs grabbed, fourth. Buff denied. BDS not able to get into position, so well played by MDK thus far. No one looking at the bottom lane right now. It's all about topside. Pulled Ooh, Lebron. Ulti is good. Lebron in the wrong spot, and he's going to get punished for it. Uh, Adam preemptively trying to find a play there with Fury from the ultimate. He had flash. He was going to try and flash W uh, Super on the Zeri. In the end, he has to buffer the Recon, not going to flash away, so the play isn't there. For these two teams in particular, there's just, on average, a lot of Chemtech Dragons in their game. Oh, so <laughs> Let's see if how LeBron can navigate through that vision and whether or not he can find any picks. Rob waiting. Doesn't want to hook Alvaro. Alvaro Ooh. flashing over the wall. Does manage to hit the double charming, but he can't hit the knockup. LeBron now running. Knockup from Shao. Not going to hit on anybody. MDK. Two quick kills in the blink of an eye. Alvaro flashes into the wall, but that doesn't matter. He finds the charm onto two people, and El Yoya finds the nice layering, really utilizing the ability to make picks with his composition. Swift execution for MDK. The engage was flubbed by Alvaro, but it doesn't matter. The rest of his team converted into because a win. Because completed Triforce. That's really when Corky comes online. But then that play happens. They tried to strong side the top side, maybe find a pick with the Blitzcrank. Five, four, the Ooh. silence, the sidestep. No, that hurts. They're committing five people BDS into the mid lane play consistently from side because they don't want to play side lane, but they don't have any engage. So every single time it has to come down to lap He's only land. tankier, and there are three physical damage champions on the opposite side. Nuke, too afraid to Valkyrie over the wall to chase the Tristana. Leaping over to us. It, so. But right now the Baron becomes the priority. Again, vision control largely as MDK continue to look for a pick. I look at Mirwin on the flank. If Ice ever steps up too far onto a wave, he's a dead man walking. Yeah. He might be a dead man now. Mirwin. Look at Mirwin. He is hunting. He's hunting. He knows if he isolates the Jinx, he can just delete Ice. And he remembers last game, right? It was a single fight where Ice had four items. That really brought BDS back in. Mirwin looking for the angle. Doesn't quite line up, but now it's Lebrov who's been caught out. It's an ulti, but Shayo trying to punish. Good damage. Ice now getting excited, getting the resets. Reset him going in full damage, but he can't finish. Super. Mirwin gonna keep his 80k restanding. Rocket goes completely wide. Nuke caught out, and that should be the Baron for BDS, but it might be even more. Oh, yeah, it goes golden. Frescawi, does he want to commit more? Ice trying to step up, trying to carry, but Shayo cannot do much to stop it. Sat to charge ticking. Ice will stay alive. MDK, can they turn to the Baron? Everyone on MDK lives. They're able to get I'm away. stepping up, luckily oh is able goodness. to walk away. Mirwin even provided the shield onto El Yoya as well. Oh, wow. Well played from MVK. Alvaro well not quite able to find the angle. Immediately going to get picked off. Still able to all D. LeBron taken out. The rest of BDS not feeling confident to step up. And again, the front line of Mirwin just stopping any potential follow-up damage. I mean, yeah. It was a ballsy pick to go for the, uh, the Blitzcrank, and, and it hasn't paid off. He loses his life 23 minutes in. MDK with an overall 7k gold lead. Now they're looking for more. Ice caught no flash. Out. They've set up this play five times trying to catch Ice, and on the fifth time it works, and now MDK priority access on the Baron. Look, MDK answer it. They use their globals and punish. Now BDS, can they contest? Hook going wide. Have to be careful about grouping the pit immediately. Shea's going to throw in the ultimate. A lot of upfront damage. BDS, Ice is still dead. They lose one. Baron still leashed. Baron still the objective. Alvaro still standing. Baron will not kill him. Purple Worm to the Take side. Them really well. Oh, yeah. Every single time he wants to go for vision because they're threatening the Nash start with his double 80 carries. He feels pressure. Tech soul there for MDK for the gajillionth time this year. Tower will fall topside. Small consolation, but an 8k gold lead and soul feels like an insurmountable lead. New and I mean, kind of the, the silent hero in this game, I guess. Just Team. A, yep. And you lost that best of five in game five to MDK so they could make that miracle run to finals. But I don't think MDK is going to allow that to happen. No, thus far, MDK very clean in their decision-making around these objectives. 
No reason to doubt them now, but BDS perhaps can find that window of opportunity. Alvaro stepping up pretty fearlessly. They're just going to delete the Rakan, and that might be a start of something positive, but no. Ulti oh, coming anyone, but he brings it back into his own team. Definitely not an ideal ulti. Shadow just trying to get away. In the meantime, Adam diving in, taking down Mirwin. That's a reset. Jinx now getting excited. BDS getting a bit of hope here. Can't get too over because Supa is still standing. Double 80 carries alive. LeBron one more to bring it home. Finds Frescawi in the clutch. Oh, you're trying to find the flickback. He'll hit Ice for a decent amount of damage, but he can't finish the job. MDK, the gold lead is too big. And a more even state, that might have been enough. But here, Shao, crucially, BDS cannot just need a pit. steal. That's all they need, a single good Blitzcrank hook. We said it can change the whole game. I think Muin just has to stand in front. If he just stands in front and his carries hit, they win. They can't get past MDK, MDK Muin. Getting lower, trying oh. to lock up Mirwin. Alvaro trying to kick the fight off. Frescawi instantly jumping in. So much damage coming out from the Trishana. Nice Rue going in. Shao low, but not dead yet. Ice alive. The reset's coming in. It might just be the same as game two. But Ice, not enough damage yet. Mirwin's still too damn tanky, but it's Elyoya who's been caught out. LeBron looking to follow up. Punch is there. Hook. Elyoya going golden, but now Adam can follow up with the land of stun. But Supa's there to try to cover for his jungler. Oh, jungler down. BDS can turn back for the Elder. You said it was the only way, and it's still possible. Elder on the table. BDS, they're just too far behind. They don't want to risk it. Blinking health bars, but they feel like they might have to. I mean, BDS are just finding these fights. They begin the Elder. Mirwin still a tanky front line. 80 carries. Every bit of poke really hurts the MDK roots. chances. Nice knock up on Amir when Mirwin about to get deleted. Unstoppable here. Dashing out. Does, cannot flash to safety. Yes! BDS! to take down the Elder. It shouldn't be possible. But here we are. A 10k gold lead is quickly whittling away. BDS find two back to back great fights. For BDS. Can they get more off of it? Oh my goodness, a game that should have been decided. Pressure up for a lot more of a threat now that he has Fog of War to play in. Onslaught of pressure again. 50 seconds left to Elder. After that, MDK can feel a bit more comfortable to force a fight, but the gold difference is gone. It's all about execution now. Slow, steady siege of the Jinx. Well Make and true. Quick rotation. Rob again, starting to look. Four mocks keeping up. Flash forward hooks El Yoya. Adam ready to follow. The minefield can't come through. Elder sniping one. El Yoya gives his life in exchange for LeBrov's BDS. It's a lot of wave clear gone now, though. And they end it here. MDK, are they confident enough to pull the trigger? Tower fading in front of them. BDS looking to exercise some demons. Remembering back to the best of five they lost. Because he still hadn't gotten sick item. He's been catching every single side wave, playing complete janitor mode. But before this Elder, he's not going to have time to complete it. So, a little bit behind him, items there, and DPS. That flank though. TP behind. And Wait, the can't they just kill him? Immediately recalling, just gonna try to burst through Mirwin. Oh, Mirwin, no. very squishy! That is not the fight or the angle that they were looking for. Excuse me, Adam. Mirwin walks up. Knockup is there, good damage. In the is meantime, he Mirwin die? getting lower and lower. Both top laners walking in. Now the ulti coming down from Sheo. In the meantime, hit. unstoppable pullback. Oh, Mirwin oh. making it out of the safety, just Kasate. Manages to size up the rocket as well. That's going to be crucial. Two members down on the side of BDS. Ice, Sheo, Nuke, triple carries. And no TP available for Adam, so he can't rejoin the fight. The TP from Friskawi. TP from Friskawi for a very extended flank. <laughs> I thought he was going to try and end, but they can't. They've got no wave. Friskawi no, taking his time. All the flanks here. Trying to, the knock to delay Sheo, but they're entirely split. BDS turning back better. Friskawi now the one who's going to be isolated. Wants to finish off Sheo. Wants to get the rocket jump out of safety. He's burning the plant, doing a bit more damage. The Elder might just finish him off. Friskawi, but no, the cat tech soul. Keeping him alive, the Elder not going to finish. MDK continuing to step up, doing so much work. Jungler is dead. It's two versus five. But they BDS don't have strong. Supa has no mana. Can they finish it? Oh. Yes, they get the objective. Alvaro trying to finish Nuke. Wants to do a bit more damage. PDS somehow managed to get in. Res Nuke resurrecting. Pulling back. MDK, they get the objective. Ice deleted. It is an absolute mess. But in the end, MDK take the Elder. MDK make the fight happen in what has been a crazy game from losing a 10k gold oh, lead. No. And Adam, can he find another play? Adam, Waiting. they just need to check Super. Chemtech, good damage coming in. Oh! Super manages to get out. Retreat now. The knock up there, but Adam's out of cooldowns. Press Galley deleting the desperation play. Does not pay off. LeBron slowly but surely going to fall. We cut to an angle of champions. <laughs> it's trying to the game. <laughs> We're back into the game. We're all a little bit lost in this one, but it's MDK who found their way. MDK looking to find the win right here. Shio desperately deleting the wave. 19 seconds on Wait, ice, 12 seconds on nuke. Minions really are not there. They might be able to make one last desperate stand even without their top laner. Mirwin though, such a strong frontliner. BDS on the ropes. MDK looking to deliver the killer, bro. The wall is there. The 80 carries can start to hit. Nuke, does he have enough damage to turn this back? MDK being pushed back. 
Oh my god. The Wolf game is still going! Wall Street, baby! We're not leaving! They can't end! They have Chemtech Soul and Elder and one's dead. I thought for sure that was going to be the angle. Alvaro turned it back. They're caught out. Now the double AD carry starting to step up. The Lerav is still standing. Alvaro's given his life. That's the reset for Ice! Rocket continuing. Movement speed is there. First guy with the knockback. Smart play, but it might cost him. Still just trying to retreat, desperate to get away from those rockets. Wait, but can't they just Nuke jumping barren? forward. Nuke shutdown is there. VDS can just Baron. <laughs> it's Kevtech Soul and Elder versus Ice. This is just a Baron for VDS. Super jumped over this wall once before in a highly questionable grub fight. Will he do it again here? No. We'll just yeah, retreat. Like a highly unqualified UFC commentator. Not much yeah. to happen. They were hitting each other. Yeah. <laughs> Mirwin? Oh, Mirwin? Wait, Mirwin! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mirwin about to get deleted. Again, he has the shield coming dead? for the stairs. Mirwin's Mirwin. gone. Wait, 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 with Baron now, can't BDS just run it down mid? You would think, but nothing is sure. Yeah. <laughs> as long as the Nexus stands, no one is out of this game. We have double Zephyr. We are in the late game now. For sure, they can just run it down and end. No, they are so strong at this point. No for sure. BDS no pushing. Sure. Nobody at this point can tank a Blitzcrank hook, except for Cassante, and Cassante is down. I think this has Four to be BDS. Seconds. Baron Empowered Wave, a Jinx with resets. El Yoyo once again laying down the wall to give the team a bit of space. Supa getting incredibly chunked. Rocket not gonna hit. Alvaro off to the side, just trying to pull the wave away from the Nexus. Alvaro's Prescali out. doing decent damage, but Adam already moving in and getting the stun. Input buffer is there. It's all on Supa to try to save this one. El Yoyo is dead as soon as he comes out of the stasis. BDS focusing on the objective. BDS just need to hit the Nexus. BDS will end it here! I don't know what we saw. I don't know what this was.